I'm at Starbucks in Paris, Texas. I'm having a bit of an off day because I left uh, Hocha Town, Oklahoma um, because of internet issues and I get to Starbucks in Texas and their internet is down. So, not productive. I'm camped out uh, at Caddo Grasslands Wildlife Management Area in Texas, um, somewhere near Paris, Texas. This place was recommended on freecampsites.net. Um, I raced around all day trying to find uh, a good Wi-Fi, a good place to do work. I found uh, a really great coffee shop in Paris that I'll be going back to all week. Paris Coffee Company in Paris, Texas is where I've been getting all my work done this week. Um, great coffee and really nice people. Everyone I've met inside has been extremely friendly. Oh, and they're their internet is super fast. I'm in East. Turn right onto County Road 2765, then turn left onto County Road 2750. Okay, big help. I'm in East Texas, um, west of Paris, and I'm going to... Turn left onto County Road 2750. Man, I'm trying to talk, and I'm going to, uh, look for another campsite for tonight. Uh, I'm just recording now Continue because... straight. Thanks. I'm just recording now because this is uh, a scenic country road and uh, it's really starting to feel like uh, different, different western geography than I'm used to, which is really exciting to me. Designated campsite. Free dispersed camping in Keto... Uh, wildlife management area. You can tell this area is a little bit higher traffic because it's right next to the lake, which I have yet to see. Coffee Mill Lake, actually, I think is what it's called. So there's some trash, but uh, overall looks really nice. Hi, I'm Chris, and I'm considerably less burly than I used to be. Wait, that's, that's not right. I'm still burly. All right, the eve of Friday, April 21st, Coffee Mill Lake Recreation Area, I think is going to be my home this weekend. I've got uh, hiking. I have a lake to put the kayak on, and these uh, these campsites aren't vehicle accessible, but uh, that one over there I was able to pull right up against, so uh, shouldn't be a problem. I'm not endorsed by Nemo in any way, but uh, love this pressure shower. Uh, it's got a sink dealy. Uh, hose, whatever. All pressurized. Just had chips and salsa. Mm, just like that. Gonna do a full deployment here this weekend. Set up the uh, the awning and the shower shelter, but uh, there's a hundred percent chance of storms tonight, which is always fun. So I'm just going to leave the uh, camper up for night and just leave it at that. I'll set up everything else tomorrow. The storm is here. It's hail. I hate hail. I relocated camp this morning. Uh, I'm at the same campground off of Coffee Mill Lake, but I saw an opportunity to park next to that table and extend my awning over it near the water, so I took it. Um, it's a nice spot. I imagine I'll see some traffic today, but that's okay. I was camped up there, so I spent the night by those trees. 
I think I'm uh, taking this journey for granted a little bit. I don't think it's it's very common for someone to have the opportunity to uh, travel uh, and live in their vehicle and you know work remotely, earn money remotely, and see all the places that I'm seeing. I'm so caught up in worrying all the time that I don't really stop to smell the roses and take it all in. I mean, it's really, really awesome. Even if for some reason, you know, it doesn't work out and I have to go right back home. Um, it's been over a month so far, and I've just experienced a lot. If you have the opportunity to, to do this, uh, I say go for it. Even if you think that you're, you're close, you're not quite ready, but you think you could, just go. But I need to stop taking it for granted. I need to stop worrying as much as I do and, um, and enjoy and make an extra effort to collect experiences. Look at how the water beads on these lily pads. Isn't that cool? That is really far out. I've got company. I'm being visited in Caddo um, off of um, Coffee Mill Lake. Uh, by Matt Pfeiffer, who brought beer and he brought his Jeep. He goes through the dozer on Instagram. And uh, what'd you bring, Matt? Brought you some local brews to try out since you're from Texas. This is the one I'm particularly proud of uh, having extra for you. It's a good limited RAR and Sons beer in Fort Worth. It's a barrel aged uh, stout that is beyond delicious and only comes out once a year. Yeah. And then you got the uh, good old Off the Leash from Noble Ray. It's a little fun kinky design on the beers. Most of the time they stack them where the head's <laughs> on top of the very kinky body. And then a uh, good old local brew for me from McKinney, Texas. That's where I'm from. It's Tup's Brewing. This is their sweet stout. This is an all year round stout. Yeah. It's fantastic. Oh, thank you so much. This is awesome. In addition to beer, <laughs> Matt just gave me a badass shovel. You're do my yeah. oh. As it makes the sheath uh, exit noise. Yeah. Look at this. This is a Hattori Hanzo shovel. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. But it does have uh, uh, artisan roots. Um, in exchange, I gave him my old foldable. <laughs> Still hanging out with Matt on Saturday by the fire, by the lake. Um, interacting with real people is just so refreshing. Thanks, Matt. Glad to be here, man. Absolutely. As usual, I can't pronounce where I am, uh, but this trail, this hiking trail, uh, goes around or next to Coffee Mill Lake in Caddo Grasslands in Texas. And I think it's called the Bois de Arc Multi Use Trail. Um, okay, trail three, it's pretty long, over six miles at least. Trail two, probably three miles back to camp. Trail two it is. Making one of my favorite deluxe grilled cheese sandwiches. It's uh, two slices of white uh, with white American cheese. Um, pepperoni. Slices. I've got four of them in there, and uh, I take one of these 
and cut it up and put it in the grilled cheese too for some extra flavor and it's really creamy. A uh, happy side effect of living out of my vehicle is uh, that I'm losing a lot of weight and I'm going to stop by uh, REI because I have a dividend that I can spend for a new pair of shorts and people are watching me talk to my phone in a weird place so I'm going to go now. Wow, look at this beautiful spot in Texas. This is west of Austin, near Marble Falls. And this campsite is free, and it's gorgeous. This is at least warm. I'm camped next to the Colorado River in uh, or near Marble Falls, Texas. And today I'm taking a break from my normal work schedule to visit um, Enchanted Rock State Park. Um, a friend recommended, recommended it and also a dude in the coffee shop. So, pretty excited for that. Entrance permit required. Entry fee, $7 per person. Welcome back. Now entering a stress-free zone. Well, I'm sold. Uh, obtain entrance permits inside. Okay, cool. I will do that. I'm going to be doing a little bit of hiking today. All right, I'm in... Uh... I'm in Texas at Enchanted Rock Natural Area, uh, basically a state park, and it is just wow. Um, that's the big granite dome behind me. Um, I'm just kind of uh, off trail, wandering in the rock in the rocks a little bit, and I'm about to have a sandwich. It's the first time I've encountered geography like this ever in my life, so. Uh, I'm pretty giddy, wide-eyed, uh, a lot of hikers. It's definitely a touristy destination, but don't let that deter you because it's, it's well worth it. It's $7 to get in and uh, there's a hike to the summit and there's also trails that uh, circumnavigate the dome itself. Looks like I could go right up the granite slab to the summit if I wanted to. I'm gonna keep going around the uh, loop trail though. All right, I finished the loop around the mountain. Um, now I'm going to slowly work my way up, try to find shade. 
to be honest, I don't have sunscreen, so I'm not prepared. I'm hoping my skin holds out, but whatever. YOLO. exploring. Uh, I'm at the top of the mountain, found this little secluded area that kind of, these rocks uh, to my left here are blocking the wind nicely, so I don't know, maybe if I find a cool spot here I'll hang out until the sun gets lower in the sky. Uh, I found this rock formation uh, near the top of the mountain. I peered down into one of the holes and uh, I'm in this like it's not a cave, it's just a bunch of rocks, but uh, there's arrows pointing and tempting me with their pointiness. The arrows point into that hole, which isn't really that exciting. I mean, it's beautiful up here, but... Hi. All right, it's um, Thursday in Marble Falls, Texas, and I'm currently in the Starbucks parking lot. I'm going to go down uh, about an hour south of here to Spring Branch, Texas, to visit Pronghorn Overland Gear. Uh, they're manufacturers of, of really cool uh, Jeep bumpers and Toyota bumpers. Um, winch mounting systems, recovery, attachment points, um, stuff like that. So okay, I'm at, I'm at Pronghorn in uh, Spring Branch, Texas, and Julie is showing me the Link Tracks, which is their, that's what it's called, right? Yeah. The uh, new traction mat that they just yeah. came out with. Yeah. So these will be the crates, and then basically the thing, the idea is that, that the, uh, these will kind of, kind of, you just want to tuck it right under the, uh -huh. the wheel so it makes contact to the terrain and the wheel. And then what happens is I actually have to flip the other way, but it's supposed to lay that way. And the tires will actually grip onto this and it'll just kind of pull it under. Uh -huh. And then, you know, the uh, the wheel will just kind of roll over on top. And the good thing about this is that because of the possibility, it will mold to any kind of terrain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This free campground near Marble Falls continues to deliver. I just went to another end of it that I didn't explore in the past few days, and there's an even more gorgeous campsite over here. 